Rockfield Studios. I'm Michael from Opeth and we're here currently recording our 12th album, I think it is. Uh, let's have a look. It's a famous driveway up to, uh, to the, the studios and the residential, the suites, basically. And it's a cloudy day in uh, late May of 2016. Well, we're uh, in the Quadrangle studio, which is uh, the second studio to be built here at Rockfield Studios in Wales. Uh, I think it was built in 73. Uh, it's got an SSL. I think they're called SSL. I don't know that shit, but it's a, it's a good console. It's got the old um, uh, the the tape, uh, the old uh, two inch tape recorder and a quarter inch, I think that's used for mastering maybe, not sure, but then there's lots of digital stuff and compressors and stuff like that. Um, we have never recorded here. I, I picked the other studio, which we'll see later, uh, because I had a Neve console and we worked on those consoles before. I thought they sounded good, but what do I know? Anyways, this studio is famous, so come on. This would be the the uh, recording, the big recording room, which is it's not really that big, to be honest. Uh, this is famous for uh, the band Queen, who recorded Sheer Heart Attack here in 1974 or 5, uh, 1975, 4, and also Night at Opera, Bohemian Rhapsody, was recorded partly here. Not only that, it was recorded on this grand piano here. This old, uh, what's it called? Bussendorfer. Bussendorfer. So this is how it sounds. You can hear the... I mean, Fr Fred Merkel was a bit sloppy. So mine's, my touch is a little bit more sensitive but it was recorded on this grand piano and uh, apparently the drums Roger Taylor's drums were in there or maybe they're out here I don't know I wasn't here I was barely born at the time uh, but like I said we have never been in this studio we never recorded in here but I think most of the uh, most of the kind of big name bands that come to Rockfield or that's been here over the years probably picks this studio because of Bohemian Rhapsody. Whoa, windy. So this is the courtyard. It's basically a, an old farm. As you can see, there's horses and stuff. Uh, this is also a residential studio. So we live here. That number four would be my room. And it's nice and tidy, but I'm not going to show you in. Uh, Frederick and Mendes lives there, I think Axe and Jochen lives there. And then there's like a, like a dinner type area with a kitchen and a laundry machine and kind of TV room and a, a patio out back so we can sit and drink beer after a, a full day's day of hard work. Well, we're at uh, in the kind of living room, hanging out quarters. This is where we dine and we get like in-house uh, um, cooked food so we have two chefs uh, uh, cooking for us it's great it sounds really luxurious and it is but of course we're paying for it uh, this is kind of TV lounge but we don't really watch a lot of TV just drink beer in here and out there is uh, it's like the paddock for the horses and a uh, little patio where we can kind of hang out and again drink lots of beer and that's the yeah that's the kitchen in there uh, there's the office that's where kingsley ward the legendary kingsley ward hangs out and his family doing the bookings for rockville studios these days or as it's always been so that's it not much else going going around here apart from a few cars and horses and at this this moment in time, a rock legend as well hanging out here. Me. If you listen closely, you hear our new singer. 
There he is. Got a growly type, growly type voice. His name is D. Hoberman. And we're gonna walk and check out studio number two, which is originally the first studio here. So it should be called number one. And in the beginning, in the early 60s, it was up in that house. That was a studio. Uh, and that's now the residence of Kingsley Ward, the, the owner of Rockdale Studios. And then it moved to the upper floor of that house in the mid to late 60s, I think. And then moved downstairs to where it's at now. And you'll hear sounds soon, apart from the dog, you'll hear some guitar noodling. Because Frederick, our guitar player, is recording his solos right now. So it might get loud. But let's go in and check. Let's go in. And now we're in the studio. This is where the magic happens. And uh, we got Tom here, 17. Uh, Mendes is sketching away. And Frederick recording lead guitar. So we've got a bunch of guitars, bunch of pedals. It's hot as hell and smells a little bit. Yes. But yeah, this is where we've been holed up for the last 10 days or not even 10 days or so and just kind of finishing off everything with some guitar leads and after Frederick is done it's my turn so I'm gonna go drink beer uh, lucky you and we're in the corridor now and down there is the 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 the, the, the bog basically nothing to see there and it's got a morning bed light there going into the recording room <laughs> I'm re not really sure how old this studio is, but quite old. Here's some guitars there. So we basically wrapped up the keyboards. Uh, we had this thing kind of rented, which is a, like an electric harpsichord, which we never used before. Sounded cool. Uh, Hammond C3, which is on pretty much the whole record. Uh, the Fender Rhodes 88, which is this larger Fender Rhodes, and it sounds amazing. That's a Vox type of organ that we never used, and that's a M100 or whatever it was called, Hammond, that wasn't used either. Microphones. I just finished um, acoustics, acoustic guitars. So they're still here, I haven't put them away yet, but that's the, the acoustic guitars I used on this record, and they've been on some of the previous records as well. Grand piano over there we also used, which is a Yamaha, whatever it's called. It's a Yamaha. And Axe has his drum kit still set up. Uh, it's a DW, DW drum kit of some sort, I don't even know. And Mendes bass station here. A couple of Fender basses and stuff. You know, but this is where we did uh, pretty much did everything. You know, all the drums, all the guitars. The guitars are in a di the amps are in a different room. You can't go in there because you'll go you'll go deaf. But the rest was done right here in yeah ten days, which is amazing. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs>